Hello, I'm Brian Smith with the Classical Learning Resource Center, and I'm here with Andrew Robles, who's joining us this semester. Hi, Andrew. Hello, Brian. Can you tell our families a little bit about yourself, your background, and then some about the two courses you'll be offering this semester? Yes, I uh, academically, I have a bachelor's degree in history and a master's degree in English. I thought those are two nice complementary subjects. It was kind of a gap between the BA and the MA. Uh, in the interim, I was working mainly in education in academic support, overseeing tutoring and online testing and online education in that for 20 years, essentially. And I've also been teaching at the community college level here in Southern California for about 15 years and uh, saw an opportunity to teach at CLRC. I was recommended by a, a friend who's, whose daughter took classes there. He thought it would be a good fit. And, and I can say without any doubt that it is for me. And I see the benefits of it for the students who participate in it. And the classes I'll be teaching are ancient Mediterranean history and American literature. For ancient Mediterranean history, we'll look at Greek and Roman uh, histories. And then for the American literature class, we'll just cover essentially the classics, what are considered the classics of American literature, like uh, Scarlet Letter, Huckleberry Finn, and Moby Dick. And they'll both be classes in which we'll have a seminar format. Essentially, I'll discuss the various works and various topics. The students will participate in the discussion. And then based on those discussions, we'll share some ideas and then turn those into writing assignments. So it's a good opportunity to just get some knowledge in both of those subjects and then to apply that knowledge in essays and turning those ideas into actual written works. I'm very much looking forward to it. So you talked about some of the works you read in the literature class. What about the history class? Um, I'm sure you have a connecting text, um, but do you do primary sources there as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the best source for trying to for lack of a better term, kind of get into the heads of the people who lived in those ancient times in antiquity, as we say, are primary sources. So we will look at Herodotus and Plutarch and Livy, like roadmaps for what was happening then. And it's fascinating for me, and this is a, a great experience just in looking at ancient cultures, because uh, so much of it is was lost, especially the early histories of Rome and Greece. So you have these people who came in and said, well, we're going to fill in the gaps of what happened, basically, based on all this stuff that was passed down and actually put it into writing so that we have it here in the 21st century. We can go back and look at it and really put ourselves in, in their their place, which is, the uh, for me, has always been fascinating about history. I've always loved history ever since I was a kid. I remember having the Time Life books on ancient civilizations and just going through those, Egypt and Rome and Greece, and just finding those so, so interesting and thinking, if only you could go back to that time. Well, with those primary texts, essentially, you can do that. You can go back in time, which is a great thing, obviously. Well, it sounds like you've got a couple of very uh, interesting and uh, packed courses available for our, our families this semester. And I want to mention to everyone that CLRC now has WASC accreditation, Western Association of Schools and Colleges. And uh, WASC has a nationwide reach. They accredit schools all, and um, service providers all over the country. So we're very happy to offer that added value to everyone. And uh, Andrew, thank you for joining me this afternoon and I hope you have a great start of the semester. Hope all of our families and students have a great year. Thank you.